I'm not a mutant, Tin Head. My powers are magical, and none of you mutant wimps can handle them. We will see. Come on. Yes, what's up YouTube, it's Magnus, you heard it, it's the Juggernaut. This is the Marvel Select um, Juggernaut figure. Uh, Marvel Select is a part of Diamond Select, which is a company that made figures for just about everything. Pop culture, uh, comic books, movies, whatever. Um, the company was founded in 1999. Um, there's been a lot of Juggernaut figures. I don't know if you guys remember Toy Biz back in the day, back in the 90s. Uh, but this figure right here is, this is the best one to me. It's an oldie, but it's a goodie. I just got it, so it's new to me. So I'm going to do a review about it. So, <laughs> uh, but yes, sir. This is the box that came in. Uh, I tried my best to salvage the box, but I... Uh, yeah, I did my best. I opened it from this side and took him out. Um, he's heavy as hell. I think he weighs like four pounds. I weighed him on a scale, uh, but yeah, he, he's heavy. Um, 16 points of articulation. Uh, I gotta get a ruler, tape measure, reduce some measurements here for you. Um, but yeah, it, it detail is unheard of. I think they do a CG rendering, um, then a sculpting process and then they mass produce them but it retains all of the detail it looks so awesome um but this is going to be a review of this figure and a little history lesson about juggernaut aka came on who's that the juggernaut stop or we'll shoot Ooh, i'm scared i better run <laughs> will never hurt me. Now get out of my way. You're violating my personal space. All right, here he is. I freed the Juggernaut. Let's see how big he is. Okay. Nine inches tall. And about seven and a half inches wide with his arms. Uh, but Let's get a close up here of some of the detail on them. I mean, you know, veins, deltoids. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's stupid. It's crazy detail. It's, it's by far the best juggernaut uh, figure out. Um, like I say, it's been out for a good while now. I finally got my hands on one. Um, Price, you're looking at uh, 27 to $50. Uh, the highest price point I saw was at Walmart. I got him on Amazon for $27.99 uh, on Amazon Prime with a coupon. They have a variant of him without a helmet on. And I actually saw some pictures of uh, the same figure with different... Um, might have been like a different series, but I think it was still made by Diamond Toys, where he could take his fist off, and they had different fists for him. Um, I actually had we remove the helmet, uh, take it off. Um, but yeah, I mean, down to his boots. I mean, he's he's awesome. I mean, he's got tread on his boots. Uh, you don't want to get stomped on by those. Uh, <laughs> but um, who is this guy? Okay, uh, I'm an '80s baby. So I know all about them. Uh, X-Men had a cartoon used to come on in the 90s. And uh, I read comics, and I'm a fan of Juggernaut anyway. And you see the poster over there. That's actually the Unstoppable Colossus, but, um, but yeah. Um, this guy's name's Kane Marco. Kane Marco is the stepbrother of 
uh, Charles Xavier. Everybody knows Charles Xavier is the leader of the X-Men, the uh, principal of uh, Xavier School for Gifted Youth. And um, growing up, he hated Charles. Um, he pretty much, you know, told him, you know, I hate you. My dad's only marrying your mom because she's, she's loaded. It's going to take your money. And, you know, Charles was bleeding hard, good guy. And, you know, he could see, try to see the good in everybody. But Kane hated Charles' guts. He just bullied him. He pushed him down. You know, Charles was weak. Um, they were in the military together and um, in Korea. And they were in this cave. It ended up being the Temple of Sidorak. Um, and Cain found the Sidorak gem. He found a tablet and he, he recited the incantation on the tablet while holding the gem. And he was actually, they were hiding from the, uh, from the enemy. And he was trying to, it's, I actually don't know if he was trying to escape or, you know, flee from combat or whatever. But Charles was like, you're going to get court martialed, blah, blah, blah. So he found the tablet found the Sidorak gem, recited the words, everybody knows them. They even got them on the back of the box here, um, which is cool. They do put that on there, it's a nice box. Um, uh, let's see where if I can find it. Yes, whosoever touches this gem shall be granted the power of the Crimson Bands of Sidorak. Henceforth you shall, you who read this word shall become forevermore the human juggernaut. That's what he did. Fast forward to the present. This is Juggernaut. Um, he comes with a nice little cool cardboard um, display you can put behind him. Um, you can put that in there. It's got two, you can change it. Um, put that in there behind him. And you get the Marvel, Marvel licensed product um, uh, pamphlet also when you buy this mm -hmm. guy. Um, he, like I said, he's awesome. Um, like I said, Kane Marco, um, like I said, just really not a nice person. <laughs> uh, there's no way around it. Um, have worked for Magneto, Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, um, did some jobs with Eric the Red, uh, Black Tom, back when the Phoenix Saga was going on. Um, just a hitman for hire. Uh, he likes money. He's human. He likes robbing banks. Um, and he is not a mutant. People get it twisted. They think he's a mutant. He is not. Um, his powers come from Sidorak. Sidorak is a deity, actually a demon king. Um, and the gem, if you have it, you basically become an avatar for Sidorak and his powers. And you can use them really however hell you want, as long as you have the gem in your possession. Uh, as long as nobody else finds it and recites the incantation, up the tablet you're good but if you don't have that stuff locked up somebody finds it they can take the powers and then they'll be the new juggernaut that's why i kind of like this guy because anybody can be juggernaut so you know he's really he wasn't born with powers so he kind of you know stumbled upon them and, and you know and, and inherited powers for himself uh give himself a chance to survive in the world of mutants and metahumans and etc I feel like if he was in the MCU, currently, Infinity War would have went something like this. Game over. I just hate that, you know, you know, maybe, maybe now since Marvel, uh, has the rights to the X-Men and that verse um, Maybe we'll get a decent representation of this guy because so far, you know, besides the cartoons and the anime He really hasn't been represented that well in cinema and it sucks because he's such a great character um, You know, they tried, you know, their best to do what they had work with with Charles Xavier making, you know, his character development and all of it, but it's like you got to do it all the way. You got to you got to go all the way. Um, but he just gets left out in the cold. He's a footnote. He's just a henchman. I don't like him just being a henchman. I mean, he, Juggernaut's awesome. And I mean, you see it. Um, um, 
but yeah um that's pretty much it i got for you guys today like i said we get another good look here at them but like it is like i said this is the best juggernaut figure like i said i i just got them it's been out for a while i think it's harder to get you can go on um diamondselecttoys.com and order them there i think it's about 32 33 bucks um you'd be better off going on ebay and amazon and get them a little cheaper but uh i think they kind of running down on them i don't think they're gonna be making him much longer uh i know they got a few different variants of them but um so far this is it um you, you can't beat it and the price uh, it's worth it and just you see what you get i mean it's it's, it's awesome um all right youtube that's it for today it's a quick video this is magnus aka django galvini i'm out <laughs>